Britannica on Halloween. This article was published in 1926. In the 13th edition of the Encyclopedia Britannica. Halloween. Halloween or All Hallows Eve. The name given to the 31st of October as the Vigil of Hallow Mass, or All Saints Day. Though now known, as little else, but the eve of the Christian festival, Halloween and its formerly attendant ceremonies, long antedate Christianity. The two chief characteristics of ancient Halloween were the lighting of bonfires, and the belief that of all nights in the year this is the one during which ghosts and witches are most likely to wander abroad. Now on or about the 1st of November, the Druids held their great autumn festival, and lighted fires in honor of the sun god, in thanksgiving for the harvest. Further, it was a Druidic belief, that on the eve of this festival, Saman, Lord of Death called together the wicked souls, that within the past twelve months had been condemned to inhabit the bodies of animals. Thus it is clear that the main celebrations of Halloween were, purely, druidical. And this is further proved by the fact that in parts of Ireland, the 31st of October was, and even still is, known as Oichimna, quote Vigil of Samen. On the druidic ceremonies were grafted. Some of the characteristics of the Roman festival, in honor of Pomona held about the 1st of November, in which nuts and apples, as representing the winter store of fruits, played an important part. Thus the roasting of nuts and the sport known as apple ducking attempting to seize with the teeth, an apple floating in a tub of water comma were once the universal occupation of the young folk in medieval England, on the 31st of October. The custom of lighting Halloween fires survived until recent years in the highlands of Scotland and Wales. In their, dying embers, it was usual to place, as many small stones, as there were persons around, and next morning a search was made. If any of the pebbles were displaced it was regarded as certain that the person represented, would die, within the twelve months. Halloween, contraction of All Hallows Eve, a holiday observed on October 31st, the evening before All Saints or All Hallows Day. The celebration marks the day before the Western Christian Feast of All Saints and initiates the season of All Hallow Tide, which lasts three days, and concludes with All Souls Day. In much of Europe and most of North America, observance of Halloween is largely non religious. Which is Sabbath? Right. Which is Sabbath, nocturnal gathering of witches? A colorful and intriguing part of the law surrounding them in Christian European tradition. The concept dates from the mid 14th century when it first appeared in Inquisition records, although revels and feasts mentioned by such classical authors as the Romans Apuleius and Petronius Arbiter may have served as inspiration. The Sabbath, or Sabbat, derived probably from the term for the seventh day used by the Jews, might be held on any day of the week, though Saturday was considered rare as being sacred to the Virgin Mary. Reports of attendance at Sabbaths varied. One confessed which reported a gathering of ten thousand. Witches reputedly traveled to the Sabbath by smearing themselves with special ointment that enabled them to fly through the air, or they rode on a goat, ram, or dog supplied by the devil. Favorite locations included the Brocken, in the Harz Mountains, Germany, the Bald Mountain, near Kiev, Russia, the Blokula, Sweden, and the Department du Puy de Dome, Oven, France. Typical dates included the two traditional Druid festivals, the Eve of May Day, April 30th, and All Hallows Eve, October 31st, and the seasonal festivals of winter, February 2nd, Spring, June 23rd, Summer, August 1st, and Fall, December 21st. Occurrences at the Sabbath were represented by inquisitors as including obeisance to the devil by kissing him under his tail, dancing, feasting, and indiscriminate intercourse. Yule
Yule or Yuletide, Yule Time, is a festival observed by the historical Germanic peoples. Scholars have connected the celebration to the Wild Hunt, the god Odin, and the pagan Anglo Saxon Mordranit. It later underwent Christianized reformulation, resulting in the term Christmastide. Etymology Yule is the modern English representation of the Old English words Jeel, or Jehol, and Jeola, or Geoli, with the former indicating the twelve day festival of Yule. Later, Christmas died, and the latter indicating the month of Yule, whereby Rajiola referred to the period before the Yule festival, December, and after Rajiola referred to the period after Yule, January. Both words are thought to be derived from common Germanic La, and are cognate with Gothic, Fruma, Jula Is, Old Norse, Icelandic, Faroese, and Norwegian Ninesk Jol, Jol, Miller, Danish, Swedish and Norwegian Bokmal July the etymological pedigree of the word, however, remains uncertain, though numerous speculative attempts have been made to find Indo-European cognates outside the Germanic group, too. The noun Yuletide is first attested from around 1475. December 21st to January 1st is the 12 days of Yuletide, Christmas tide. Period. December 21st is also the winter solstice which is an important day for sun worshippers around the world marking the least amount of sunlight per day and the beginning of longer daylight hours per day heading into springtime. December 25th, at evening, is the exact middle of the 12-day pagan festival between the 5th and 6th days and January 1st is 6 days later on pagan sun worship slash pagan witchcraft slash new year the grand finale of the pagan festival with fireworks, drunken revelry and intercourse of course just like Al Hallow Tide because it is a witch's sabbath. Period. Also, it is the longest of the witch's sabbaths in the dead of winter beginning on the darkest day of the year. Period. It has nothing to do with the Lord Jesus Christ. Period. Jesus is not the reason for the season. The phrase December 25th is nowhere in the Holy Bible. Nor is the singular word December, or Christmas for that matter. And the Bible says Jesus was born during the time of the harvest, not the dead cold of dead winter if you actually study it. The end of December through January 1st was already popular in pagan religious celebrations as the birthday of the sun. Not the birthday of the sun. Period. God hates these holidays, Sabbaths, festivals and new moons, because they are not his holy days. They are their holidays and Sabbaths etc. Period. Look up facts and study the Bible. Your new moons and your appointed feasts my soul hateth. They are a trouble unto me. I am weary to bear them. I hate, I despise your feast days, and I will not smell in your solemn assemblies. I will also cause all her mirth to cease, her feast days, her new moons, and her sabbaths, and all her solemn feasts.